Hey Pisces, Sun, Moon, Arise, and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is the person on your mind that you're not in communication with, okay? What are their feelings towards you? What's their energy towards you, okay? Remember that this is a collective reading and may or may not resonate with you fully, okay? Uh, remember that Tear It is fluid. This could play out past, present, or future. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's for you. You can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. Thank you so much for your likes and subscribes to the channel, tips and donations as well. It is greatly appreciated. So let's get into Pisces, someone arising, a person that they have on their mind, spirit, no communication. Ten of Wands, this person is burdened, okay? What else? four swords they're burdened by the fact that they haven't really put a lot of action towards this connection it's something that they know that they're not really speaking about though okay and it has to do with the decision with this two of wands here this person isn't speaking about a decision that they have okay and it's like it's looming and it's causing them a lot of burden all right with the tower here some type of revelation has been had, okay? And something is fucking ended and it's not going to be the same as it was. This person had some type of commitment, some type of relationship in the past, all right? And it came to an end. This person is now holding back, okay? I feel like they want to come towards you and offer you a small... um a <laughs> invitation okay uh this is like to initiate the possibility of you two getting back together again so if you were worried about this person being with someone in a relationship in a relationship still they're not together anymore it's like you're the apple of their eye they want to come in yeah with the knight of cups here this person definitely wants to come towards you, okay? For sure, for sure. They want to offer you something. It's like you're their happiness. You're their emotional fulfillment. Let's get some clarity here. Mm, with the Eight of Pentacles. This person, it's a burden for them to come work with you because they have someone tagging behind them. And with the Knight of Wands here, that's why they're kind of sitting back for now. Okay, because that's all that they really can do is give you this sexual energy. But we do still see the page of cups. It's like the person want to come in and give you that. But they know with the ten of wands, you're not having that. You're not about to accept that. Like, ain't you still involved with so-and-so, so-and-so? Uh-uh, I'm good. See, this person already knows that. And with the seven of wands, with the high priestess here, it's like they know that you're guarded, that you have boundaries, and that you're just not going to accept that. So it's like they're trying to get rid of this person as much as they can, okay? This person, okay, that they're involved with could either really be in their emotions or this is you, okay? And it's like they want to make this decision, but they know they got to come correctly if this is towards you. Let me get one more because I got to see who this is. Yeah, with a hang one. This is you. They stuck on your ass. That's what I see with a hang one and the uh, queen of cups. They have to make some type of decision. They're trying to get some type of enlightenment about you, okay? They trying to think real hard because there is some type of decision that they have to make. Yeah. Someone is going to get blocked out. I'm feeling like it's the um, the person that they were in a relationship with. With the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups. But this person could have had, they could have invested like Ten of Pentacles situation with this person that they was in a relationship with. But with the Ten of Cups here, this is showing me that because they have these emotions for you, because you are their wish fulfillment, they want to be with you in a family dynamic. Okay, that's how they feel emotionally. With the King of Pentacles, this is somebody that is very financially stable, kind of materialistic though. They really had to go within. You could be dealing with an earth sign, sun, moon, or rising, um, or a fire sign. I'm seeing that here as well. If I part the deck, something here has ended for this person though. Okay, and what it is is that which what made them happy. They're not with you, okay? You're the one that makes them happy. See, with the four cups here, it's like they're missing out on their wish fulfillment, what it is that they truly want to make them emotionally happy, okay? What else, spirit? With the toil and labor here, this person is willing to put in the work, okay? We see it here twice with the eight of pentacles. 
it is going to be a burden for them. They have to put in some hard work, probably because they have to cut off a relationship and whatever else came with that. But with the lovers here, they're definitely making a choice here. Okay, this person has sat back for a little while and made a decision. Okay, they got a lot of sexual energy towards you, but they want you to be the main feminine energy in their life. Look, what pop right out is marriage. Okay, this person may want to come in. They know that they want a higher commitment with you, but at the same time, they know that you're guarded. Okay, and you may not accept this, but they're all in their thoughts about you. Okay, you could be a male or a female in this feminine energy. Okay, but it's the energy of yin. I'm seeing you as the feminine energy here. Okay, you're the one that they're coming in and they're chasing you. Okay, you're not doing no work right now besides matching the energy that you want to attract into your life. Okay. Yeah, with a mature woman, you're coming off as a mature feminine energy. They know that they got to come towards you correct or not at all, okay? You're not just going to get a little okey-doke prize off of this. They can't just give you a prize off this. Okay, you got a D in a box. You got to... You gotta... <laughs> yeah, um, and you know, for those of you that are male, you know, they just... They know you're not going to take just some sexual energy and that's it. You want more than that. This person is going to have to hold you in high regard and high honor, okay? They're going to have to really show you just how much you actually mean to them. And they're going to do so, but it's going to cause a tire moment in their life, okay? This person is feeling um, imprisoned, okay? They're feeling bound to this relationship that they've gotten themselves in. And the person that they're dealing with really could be a false person. See, with this false person coming out. Mm hmm. Very childish as well, but they could have had um, some type of. OK, for some of you all, they could have gotten this person pregnant or vice versa. OK, but I'm really getting that there is an energy of the person that they're dealing with is childish. OK, and the person that they're dealing with is a false person. OK, and they're thinking about that. But this person is also thinking about a family with you, okay? This person definitely does want a family dynamic, okay? So don't even get it twisted, okay? Here we have, I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes? When I offer you in my, when I offer you my hand, will you take it? That's what I'm saying. Their hand in marriage. This person really wants a higher commitment. They're not finna play no games with you because they know that they can't play no games with you. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to come correct. It says, I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. You emotionally fulfill this person. That's why they're coming towards you. You are their happiness. Okay. And they know that they got to come at you correct, okay? It says, my heart always comes back to you, even when I don't want it to. This person tried to move on without you, and they simply couldn't, okay? So expect to hear from this person soon, and know that they're going to come correct, okay? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more collective zodiac reads like this one, smash that like button. I want to thank you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Horizon, for all of your love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. And to the end, peace and love.